want you to get the best breed cattle you can find in California. If it costs more, you pay it. There'll be a letter of credit waiting for you at the bank of Sacramento. Sure wish I was riding with you. Oh, as you know, it was already decided it was my chance to get a look at some of them city gals. When did we decide that? Oh, he decided all by himself. Uh, when Pa mentioned this would be a good week to do some fence repairing. <laughs> Those fences will still be waiting for you when you boys get back. Now, use your judgment, Adam. Make sure you get what you pay for. You watch them city gals, too, you hear, little Joe? I intend to do just that. <laughs> Take care. Please, Ben, you sign right there. Huh. Yeah, that's good. Folks, my name is Zach Morgan. These are my brothers, Ned and Billy. Morgans? That's right. Star collecting. Now, there's been a lot of loose talk going around town about us being killers. Well, don't you believe none of it? You don't get any notions. All righty, now let's have the rest of it. That's all there is. You know, I'll bet you go home and have lunch with your wife, don't you, mister? I'll tell you what. How would you like us to drop you off there? Dead. That's all there is, I swear it. Somebody stop him! Hush! Pretty deep for that bullet. That's all right, Doc. You'll be all right as soon as I get him home. You'll bleed to death before you get him halfway there. Internal hemorrhaging. It's got to be bedded tight, strapped down if need be. Ben. Ben, you can stay at my place. That'll be best, Haas. Well, I'll get him a clean shirt. Give me a hand with him. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Young Morgan boy was hurt pretty bad. If he dies, the whole Morgan gang will be back. I owe you something, Ben. I haven't forgotten. Come on. Easy up, Paul. Easy. Easy, Paul. Ben. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right, Sam. You going after them? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Now you, you be careful that Carl Morgan, he's smart as a lobo. I'm not forgetting what he did to my deputy. Now, don't let your anger lead you into a trap. You... Come, come on, Paul. There's no time for talking. I need two good men to ride after the Morgans. Two good shots. Just two, to ride with me and my deputies. Any of you. I'll ride with you. Give me a gun. Pryor, you're drunk. I said I'll go. Give me a gun. Not you, Tom. Not this time. Well? All right. It took you long enough to wake up. We'll get the guns for you down at the jail. Just a little ways now, Billy. You just hold on. Carl's gonna skin us when he sees Billy shot. Maybe we ought to arrest him, Zach. No, it ain't far now. There's nothing we can do for him here now anyway. Get up. Get up. Blood, all right. Pressure in the last we spotted. 
you watch out for the kid? We tried. We did just like you told us. Don't take it out on me. Ben Cartwright shot the kid. His time's coming. What about him, Skinner? Well, you're supposed to be able to patch people up, aren't you? I only tended the mules in the army, Carl. That don't mean I can work miracles. You know better than that prison butcher that hacked up my leg. Carl, shut up! Now... Now, you listen to me, Billy. You listen good. You're gonna come out of this. You're gonna get yourself up, and you're gonna ride out of here with us. You're going to do what I tell you. Billy? You hear me, Billy? You get up now. Ain't no use talking to him. He's dead. me raised him. First time I fought with Pa was when he got liquored up and started into thrash, Billy. I'll settle for you, son. That's a promise I'll keep. We're all ready to ride in, Carl. You just give the word. They'd have guts enough to come looking for us. Get the rifles we're gonna set up. You gonna have a little surprise party? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have a little party for them. Smell a touch of wood smoke? Let's move out. Don't make a move. You ain't gonna shoot me, are you? Just keep your hands high. Don't worry. I ain't gonna make a play. All right, boys, rope him. And search the camp. your work. I guess they can go on getting drunk without me. Ben, do you think you could sleep if I pulled down the blind? Yeah, and I, I don't like being moved in here and maybe putting you in danger. Plenty of people in town who'd have better be down. Are you sure? Don't count on them, Ben. You'll make the same mistake my husband did. So much bitterness? It doesn't become you. I don't think Ed would have wanted it that way. Doesn't really matter, does it? He's dead. Ben, at the trial, he kept saying to me there was nothing to worry about. He said, people in this town are my friends. Well, it was his friends that let Tom Pryor talk him into a hanging. People in this town know me. They're my friends.
guess it wasn't until they put the rope around his neck he knew any better. Sometimes a, a lawyer can sweet-talk a jury into making mistakes. They wanted to see Ed hang. Not like a pack of vultures. Well, except you, Ben. Look at him down there now. That whole town is all excited over a shooting and a killing. Oh, how's Ben doing? Well, sir, he's still pretty weak, but he's getting some rest now. Well, tell him not to worry about the Morgans. We're all right here. I reckon he knows how all of you feel, Mr. Stanford. Boss, <laughs> tell Ben we'll be up to see him. I sure will, Mr. Martin. We expect him to be up and snorting for the celebration when the sheriff brings in the Morgan gang. Yes, sir. Howdy, Miss Sir. Hi, Paul. Paul, he wouldn't even let me pay for that food. That's how everybody's feeling about this thing. Ben, how are you doing? Too much molly coddling. Well, I'll tell you one thing. The Morgans sure picked the wrong man to shoot this time. Ben, this town hasn't been so worked up since Ed Samuel's trial. Oh, uh, well, uh, what I meant to say was... I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, you're sorry. Well, that helps a lot. As I was saying, Ben, this town is sure worked up about all this. The Morgans have been terrorizing this neighborhood long enough, Ben. It's time they got what was coming to them. You saved my life, Ben, and I ain't aiming to forget it. Thank you, Ralph. Now, there's not going to be any trouble, mind you. Not with the posse after the Morgans. Well, we'd better not stay too long. Don't forget, Ben, we're keeping a drink warm for you down at the bar. It's good to know you have friends. Oh, Ralph. Say thank you to everybody for all this. It's no more than you do for us. Just take care of yourself, Ben. Well, don't look like there's going to be any trouble, Paul. No. Hope not. But you know the Morgans. Yeah. Well, even if they give the posse the slip, Try to come in. The whole town's gonna be back us. I'm counting on that. What's the matter, Paul? <clears throat> I'm all right. It's no good being helpless like this. Put a pillow behind my head? Yes, sir. Well, then. Don't you worry, none. Old Sam and the posse's probably got them already rounded up. Hope Sam isn't too anxious. That Carl Morgan, he thinks more like an animal than a man. That's the way you have to fight him. Mrs. Toller. It's no use. What is it? Don't look like the posse got him, Paul. Hey, Dr. Ben Cartwright. Says we're coming into town before sundown. I guess we all know who wrote it. Well, what's the matter, good people? The sight of death chill you? Shut up, you drunken hangman. Sam Toller had no call to go out like that. He left the whole town unprotected. It's Ben Cartwright they're after. Maybe we can sneak him out of town, hide him somewhere. He'll be dead in an hour if you try to move. If Sam Toller and his posse couldn't take the Morgan gang, what chance have we got? Looks like you boys are going to have to do a little fighting. Sending an innocent man to the gallows wasn't enough for you, was it, Pryor? Talked the town into hanging Ed Samuels, now you're trying to talk us into more trouble. You drunken troublemaker. Cartwright shouldn't have shot that Morgan boy. That's what started all this. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about, Mr. Park? Look at him. 
All the big men. All the big men in town that were going to stand back if Ben Cartwright. Way back! <laughs> I think it's very funny. <laughs> Five dead bodies, Mr. Pryor. That ain't very funny. won't be doing much business today. What time does it start? Four o'clock, maybe. Before sundown. Adam, little Joe on her way to California and you and me trapped here. Ah, uh, take it easy, son. You know, maybe this whole thing's for the best. What do you mean, Paul? Huh? Carl Morgan and his brothers have been preying on this territory like a pack of wild dogs. And that's just the way they have to be fought. Paul, maybe I could get some of the town's men and ride out and meet them. And come back slung over your saddle? You know, when I was a boy, I don't think I ever told you boys this, my uncle, Sent me out hunting a pack of dogs that were stealing my pet sheep. Slogged around for a couple of days, never, never even got a smell of them. Now, when my uncle sent me out there, he sent me out there to teach me something. And when I got back, he showed me. He took an old goat and he tethered him outside. And then we got our guns and we waited till that dog pack came. Carl Morgan is like that old brown dog, wild, smart. But now there's an old coat tethered in here that he wants bad enough to walk into a trap. Which way do you figure they'll come in, Paul? Right down Main Street. I figure we won't expect them to come in right out in the open. That's the way they'll go out, too. It's broad and clear. Less chance of them getting cut off. Mm -hmm. I'll probably wait till almost sundown. Hoping we'll panic. We can't keep them from coming in. Got to figure how to stop them from getting out. Paul, I can close off all those side streets with wagons and crates and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Hoss. Let's get a rope. Get a long rope and pull it right across Main Street. Cover it up with a lot of dirt. And you wait till they ride past. And then you pull that rope tight. Yeah. And, uh... Put about half your men down there and make sure they don't shoot until the Morgans are trapped by that rope. Yes, sir. Get Carter and Stamford and Martin. They're all good men. Yes, sir. First one in town to want to help, Ben. The, the, the first one, but I'm listening. I got a wife and children to think about. 
Sometimes a man's got to think about something besides himself, Mr. Martin. Well, you tell that to Sam Toller's wife and kids. Look, Hoss, I can pay your pa back everything that he loaned me on what I, what I still own for the store, but I can't go out there, Hoss. I can't. Hoss! I can, I can pay him back everything, see? Thank you, Mr. Martin. It ain't money I'm needing right now. Day, ma'am. It's not my job out there, Hush. You know that. I'm the only doctor in this town. What if the Morgans kill me the way they did the men on the posse? I'll tell you something right to your face. I've got no quarrel with the Morgans, and I sure ain't going to go out there and get my head blown up just to save Ben Cartwright. No, sir. I reckon you ain't. How's Ben's wound? Well, it's soaked through a little bit, Doc. That bandage ought to be changed, but... I'm sort of busy. I'll take care of it. Mr. Carter! Mr. Carter, I need you real bad. What's the matter with all of you? You think you can sit in here and hide from the Morgans any better than you did from me? No use making trouble. It's the Morgans that's making the trouble, not me. Can't you get that through your heads? It ain't our fight. Yeah, that's right. It's your pa they're coming after. But the Cartwrights fight their own battles. They ain't part of this town. That's enough to stand up and take sides. I ain't gonna bother asking you again, Mr. Carter. You told my Paul when he saved your life that you wasn't gonna be forgetting it. Pretty hollow sounding words, ain't they? Well, I ain't gonna do no more begging. Us. I'd like to go along if it's all right. It won't be much use, I guess. I can't shoot. I never killed a man. Except Ed Samuels. Except Ed Samuels. Maybe you don't want me. Mr. Pryor, when I came in here, I was asking for men to step forward. As far as I'm concerned, you're the only man in the whole room. I'm ready to go. All I need is a gun. Maybe a couple of more drinks. <laughs> Pretty sad thing, the smell of fear in this room. Come on, Mr. Pryor. Well, be ready when you are, horse. Good. You know, your pa won't save me from a bunch of drunken trail hands. I ain't ever forgot that. Mighty glad you're with us, Mr. Stanford. I didn't know what I was going to tell Paul. Yeah, I guess you already got the others posted around town, huh? 
That's it, ain't it? Not exactly, no, sir. Well, change your plans? I mean, you got the others to go along with you, haven't you? Same as me? No, sir, they, they ain't nobody but you and me and Mr. Pryor here. Well, it's Martin and uh, Ralph Carter. They'll go along with us. No, sir. Just you and me and Mr. Pryor, that's all. Just uh, you and Pryor, huh? That's right. Well, no offense intended, Hoss, but uh, Pryor here ain't much of a man with a gun. No, sir. I, I reckon he ain't, but he's willing to try. You need good men to face the Morgans. I guess you and Ben know that, don't you? Yes, sir. That's why I'm mighty glad you're with us, Mr. Stanford. Yeah. Well, I didn't figure on going it alone. You're a good man with a gun, aren't you? Well, I ain't that good. I mean, I'm no gunman, you know that, Hoss. Yes, sir. I, I reckon you ain't no gunman. Well, it'd be, be different if there were others, but... Well, you understand, don't you, Hoss? Yes, sir, I understand. Shut down the saloon for the day. Something wrong? No, everything's fine, Ben. Wish Hoss would get here with those men. Plans to be made. They'll be along. Skinner's never done a right thing in his whole life. You should have sent me or Zack into town. Mm hmm Maybe with a big red flag so they'd be sure to spot you. What on parts, Carl? What are they doing in there? <sighs> nothing. Just nothing at all. Doesn't sound like Ben Cartwright. But if it was a trap, you'd have seen him setting up for it. That's right. There ain't no trap, Carl. Let's ride. You better come on in the back. You don't want to get hit by a stray bullet. You want me to go out there? Is that what you want? Well, say it if that's what you mean. You want me to get killed? You want me to leave you and the kids alone in the world? I'm doing what I'm doing for you. I mean it. I'm doing it for you. It ain't that I'm afraid. I ain't afraid. Nothing, Mr. Carter. Can't you get any decent brandy in this place? Shut up, Carter. You got no right to kick. None of us got any right to kick. If you feel that way about it, why don't you go out there? You're packing a gun. Yeah. I'm packing a gun. Wait here till sundown. I want to see the Cartwright sweat. 
I want to see him crawl. Not going to do you much good, Ben. Not in your condition. Well, a man feels better with a gun in his hand. Why do you need it, Ben? If your friends are going to fight for you. Where are they, Ben? Why aren't they here? Well, these things take time. I have to get ready. They've had plenty of time, Ben. I tell you before and I tell you now. Don't put your faith in any of them. It hasn't been misplaced, Anne. Ma'am, Mr. Pryor here is the only one that'd come along. Your father's waiting to see you. If you prefer, I'll stay out here. It doesn't matter. Come on in if you like. I've wanted to talk to you. To tell you how sorry I am about everything. Oh, everybody's sorry, but that doesn't bring back my husband. No. Nothing can do that. But it was a mistake. At the time, I was certain that Ed was guilty. You didn't care whether he was guilty or not. You only wanted to win a case to see him hang. A big district attorney. Make a name for himself. Further his political career. It's as simple as that, isn't it, Mr. Pryor? Admit it. I've paid Mrs. Samuels. I hope you never stop paying for it. Paul will see you. I'm surprised to see you here, Pryor. I've already told Paul how everybody drew lots to see who'd be the town spokesman. They picked a strange spokesman. I have some reputation left as a good spokesman, Mr. Cartwright. Are the men ready? All that are willing? How many are they? The town spoke with one voice, sir. All your friends took the same stand. That's right, Paul. Everybody feels the same way about it. Uh, well, keep them calm. Don't let them get nervous. Remember, don't let them shoot till the Morgans get past the center of town. I'll tell them, Paul. I'd rather be out there with you. I know, Paul, but don't you worry. Everything's going to be all right. Tell him, Hoss. Tell him the whole story. I've already told him everything he needs to know. You holding anything back, Hoss? Oh, only that we figured not to put anybody up here because it just draw fire anyhow. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Should be pretty soon now. Take care of yourself, Hoss. Yes, sir. Hoss, why didn't you tell him? Well, Ma'am, I can't just tell him that all his friends quit on him. You can't face Morgan alone. Not, not with him. Well, we got to do the best we can. But you'll be killed. Right now, Ma'am, that seems most likely. All right, time to move out. Just about that time. Won't make a real good show. What about us? There's fright and the Morgan's gonna shoot up this town. Well, yeah, that's for sure. Maybe get some of us killed to boot. I don't want to be around when the lead starts flying. It's so blamed unparticular just who it hits. Hurry, That's good. Hold it. Well, it looks like the show's gonna be right here. Well, that means shooting. Let's drift. Yeah. All right, let's go, Mr. Parr. No, wait. 
I need a drink. Not now. Hoss, I tell you, I need a drink. Not now, Mr. Pryor. You want me to die out here? Mr. Pryor, you listen to me. I don't care what you do once this thing's over with. You can lay down and die and rot in the street. But you offered to come along on this thing and you're going to stick till it's over with, Mr. Pryor. Do you understand that? You're going to stick. All right. Let's go. Get on back across the street and stay out of sight. As soon as Morgan's right across the rope, and pull the stove loose. You understand? Yeah. Mr. Pryor, I know you're feeling bad, but you just got to make it. It ain't going to be long now. I don't know. I, I don't think I can make it. You got to. Just do the best you can, Mr. Pryor. That's all any man can do. Gentlemen, I find myself drinking in worthy company. Yes, gentlemen, I, I'm a deserter just as you are. Shut up, Pryor. Bartender, give me another drink. Help me to drown my soul as my friends have succeeded in doing. But the surcease they find in this is only fleeting. For tomorrow, in all their tomorrows, they'll awaken to new pangs of conscience. Why don't you shut up? You let me hound an innocent man to death, and you cheered while he died. Well, now, gentlemen, it's you who are the executioners. You're letting good men die when you could save them. You were out there. Why ain't you out there now? I was afraid. Just like you, gentlemen, I was afraid. You're hiding, gentlemen. You're hiding from yourselves, and you're running. You'll never be able to stop, because you can't hide within yourself. I'm only good for making speeches. Speeches aren't much good now, are they? There's no time for speeches. What's he up to? I don't know. Where are you going, Doc? Out to keep an obligation. Well, then, you sure that everything's ready? 
Yes, Ben. And Huss got all the men placed? All of them. It's going to be fine, Anne. It's going to be just... What is it? They're coming in, Ben. The Morgans are coming in. Where's Brar? He's gone. His nerve didn't last. Ain't you gonna run, too? I got some of my nerve back. I'm no hand with a gun, but maybe there's something else I can do. There is, Doc. Look here. It's too quiet, Carl. Maybe they took Ben Cartwright out. He's here. He wouldn't run away from a fight. Shut up. Sure, Doc. Stay close and tight. I'm not covering for anybody that's got no more sense than a stray getting cut out of the herd. Should have been cutting them up by now. Cartwright! Listen to me and listen good. Whoever's hiding that Cartwright better get him out here and fast. Or I'm not gonna just tree this town, I'm gonna burn it to ashes. Help me. Hoss lied to me, didn't he? Yes. There's nobody out there to face him but him. It's no use, Ben. You only get yourself killed. All right, you had your time. Now I'm going house to house and I'm going to kill everything that moves till I get to the Cartwright. Get you upstairs. I'm all right. Well, we're here together. I don't feel much of anything now. Love, hate, nothing. That's only for the living. And. 
Forget the hate. It's too quiet, Paul. They're trying to keep us guessing. You killed him, Cartwright! You killed all my brothers! Now make your play face to face if you got the guts for it! It's my play, Oss. Paul, I can't let you do it. Oss. Yes, sir. Paul, you all right? Oh, I'm all right. Tired. A man. A man expects a lot. Too much. I don't know, Paul. I reckon they done about as much as they could. Tom Pryor and Doc Travis. Yes, you're right. Shouldn't have forgotten about them. There are men who, who do as much as they can, even more. It makes up for all the rest. <laughs> 